The Semnuyoma campus at Hentis Bay is now producing purified bottled water from the Atlantic Ocean. Last year, a pilot desalination plant that uses solar energy to produce clean water was inaugurated. The plant is a demonstration that seawater can be a reliable and sustainable source to address water scarcity in the country. The bottling unit and the desalination plant are relatively small in size. So ours is not to demonstrate the economies of scale, but to demonstrate the technology and what can be done with the resource that we have out there. The threat of water scarcity due to adverse effects of climate change is very real. Yet the solution to that is in our fingertips. It's right here. Only if the relevant stakeholders could invest in seawater desalination. And we as a university, we have gone an extra mile to demonstrate that we do not need to use expensive greedy electricity to run such a project. Founding president and patron of the campus, Semnu Yoma, stated that the project will change Namibia's focus on regions with perennial rivers as the only hope for food security to the coastal seemingly dry regions. I have always been of the firm belief that we can make our desert green. And I'm certain that it can be achieved if we apply our minds. It was achieved in other countries. Why not here in Namibia? I think we have that capacity. Apart from producing drinking water, the desalination plant is also used to irrigate a desert olive plantation, which was inaugurated by the vice president, Nangolo Mbumba. The one hectare olive plantation is expected to bear fruits in two years and Yunam will be ready to produce olive oil and table olives for the supermarkets. Both the projects cost about $900,000, which the Royal Academy of Engineering in the United Kingdom funded just above half a million dollars. Renate Rengura, NBC News, Hentis Bay.